Hello to anyone watching this. I'm in a modded server as we speak. One of the new mods added to the pack is called Create. It's an exciting new mod uh, with blocks and mechanics that allow for the optimization of various processes uh, that you'd expect from an engineering or industrial mod. All of these features work through the power of rotational energy. Spinning machines through cogs and shafts is how you can create something like this wonderful, perhaps poorly planned bread making array. You can grind wheat into flour, moisten it into dough, and then toast it to make bread, all with spinning parts. I had trouble finding good information on how to change the direction of rotation and the speed of rotation, and so hopefully this video will help people get an easier start to the mod than I did. The place where you determine your starting speed is with the device you use to generate the rotation. In my case, it's coming from both the water wheels and the windmill. The windmill and crate goes faster the more sail blocks you add to it. You can also use a hand crank to generate a supply, although this will not be automated and requires a player. Once you have a source of power, you will likely need to pass it through a couple other things in order to use it. A shaft can be used to extend the reach of other rotating blocks. The cogwheel does the same, but it has the added benefit of transferring rotation in a different way. If you want to power something that is several blocks away, and a couple blocks offset, you could create a line of connected cogs that keep the same speed of rotation that they inherited from their neighbors. As a side note, Crate has a neat feature that helps with placing blocks. While hovering over certain blocks, you will see a white arrow that will automatically place what you're holding when you right click. Now, if I want to activate the speedometer, I will need to change the angle of the shaft coming into it. This is where gearboxes come in handy. Vertical gearboxes do exactly what gearboxes do, but as described, in the vertical motion. You can make vertical gearboxes by putting a normal gearbox in your inventory crafting. Here is one example of how I can accomplish my goal, but there are many different approaches you can take. There we go, all done. Another way to do this would be to use a block I have not introduced. Large cogwheels. They work just like small cogwheels, but they can be placed perpendicular to each other. Now from here, I can use a normal cogwheel and rotate it up that way. And there we go, now it's connected. You will notice that large cogwheels and normal cogwheels have to be placed vertically of each other. An important aspect of this mod and what I struggled with most is how to change the speed of rotation. The easiest and simple way to change the speed of rotation is to connect normal cogwheels with large cogwheels. When the two are connected, the speed is either doubled or halved. If it's from a large cog to a normal cog, the normal cog will spin twice as fast. If it's a normal cog to a big cog, the big cog will spin twice as slow. This effect can be stacked to modify the speed several times over, but there are limits. At this speed, it won't let me add any more shafts to it. It's kind of sad. Certain machinery requires a minimum amount of speed to operate, such as this mechanical mixer. Changing the speed of rotation can change the speed at which the machine performs a task. Rotating fans can be used to blow lava, fire, and water over items on a conveyor belt. Lava smelts items, fire baits, and water washes. If the belt is too quick or the fan is too slow, the item will not be changed, which is why manipulating the speed is important. A single energy source can be used to power both fast and slow components depending on how they are hooked up. Those are the basic mechanics of the Create mod. This setup uses a range of different speeds and can actually be used to both bake bread from wheat and also uh, grind ores down and smelt them into um, little nuggets. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. I hope this video helped you.